okay so the next problem in uh, the theory of computation is what is the complement of the language accepted by the NFA shown below okay and assume that the alphabet is only one symbol a and epsilon is the empty string so this is an NFA given to you okay and it accepts some language okay and you have to find the complement of that language okay and uh, we have done a similar problem uh, in in this in the same series in theory of computation series uh, it's a uh, I think it was asked in gate 2003 and I, I set out there that with NFA if uh, in case of NFA to find the complement you can you cannot just toggle the states like you do in DFA okay if, if you have a DFA if you have a deterministic finite automata to find the complement what you do you make this final state non-final and the the other uh, non-final states final okay so this is not a DFA this is an NFA and I, I even said that with NFA you cannot do that okay if, if with NFA you just toggle these state it is not necessary that you will get a complement and this is a, it's a simple question but it's important conceptually you, you, I'll, I'll, sh I'll do it in a wrong way first I'll show you what mistake you can make and just by toggling these states and you will end up with something bad okay so suppose uh, what I do is uh, uh, let's say I just toggle the states in this NFA I'm doing it in a wrong way first so suppose I, I redraw it like this so this is some state this is some state okay and I this I make this one final and this one final and this is a start so this is not final anymore and this one reads a and this one reads epsilon okay and this is epsilon back okay so, so this is what I'm doing here I'm writing is it's a wrong way to do it it's a it's a tempting way to do it when you are like you're writing your exam and you are doing it really fast you want to do as many problems as you want in, in the shortest time but it's a wrong way to do it and it's tempting see what goes wrong out here okay so and that, that and this will also explain to you why in NFAs you cannot just toggle final and non-final states and get the complement okay so in this case okay so let's try to understand what's happening out here. in this case what are you doing this is your start state you see you read a you go to a final state so that means you definitely accept a and then you have an empty string you go to this trick this state you have another empty string you go to this state and then you read another a so that means you accept a a as well and you keep you can keep on doing this okay so basically what you are accepting is what is called a plus okay you don't accept empty string but you accept everything else that's what is happening out here and what what is what happens out here in this case you start here you accept empty string that is fine you read a you go here you don't accept a but after reading this epsilon you end up here and you are accepting a so in this case you are accepting a and in this case also you are accepting a so this cannot possibly be the complement of this thing okay because if you are accepting a out here you shouldn't be accepting out here and you can see that's the that's the sort of reason why NFA doesn't give you the complement just by toggling the states okay so this was the wrong way and let's cut it down so this is the wrong way and the right way is to first convert it into a DFA okay and that's that's crucial out here so and it's easy out here to get the DFA because you know what it is accepting okay it is accepting this okay answer you can tell right away because the only string that is left is epsilon but to give a more conceptual understanding of what's going on what you can do is you can make a DFA out of it so this is your start state and uh, you read a you come to this state okay so in, in DFA you don't have this epsilon transition these e empty string transitions you don't have them so you have to get rid of them and you get rid of them in this case by making this a well, you read A and then you can read as many A's and s still be in the final state. And then it gets pretty simple. So this is our given DFA. So we converted this into a DFA. This was an NFA. We converted it into a DFA. And now we need the 
complement so now you can toggle the states because you have a dfa and now if you toggle the states you do this and you go here and you do this okay this non final becomes final and final becomes non final and you have an a out here and now you can see it quite simply what you can accept is empty string because you don't read anything and you are in a final state so empty string and then you can keep on reading these a's as many a's but you are never going to accept them because you will not reach this there is no accepting or final state out here okay so you have to stop out here and which gives you your answer is epsilon okay you could have said it out here also just out here because you see that only epsilon is missing the complement and that's the idea and and, and this is empty set empty set is different okay Empty set, empty set is when you don't accept anything like this. Okay, so this is an empty set. You don't accept anything out here. And so option B.